This is the final push for votes. So Hillary Clinton called on two of her closest advocates, along with Bernie Sanders, her former rival for the Democratic nomination, musician Pharrell Williams, said Clinton would remedy divided America's blurred Love lines. You guys back. Yeah, this country hasn't always been fair to all people, especially my culture. It's not always been fair to us, but I think that Hillary is going to help fix these wrongs. After hearing from these two extraordinary men, I, I, I feel all fired up and ready to go. Donald Trump was paying tribute to America's veterans. Before continuing the familiar attacks on Hillary Clinton and her private emails. Ending this criminal government corruption is one of the most important reasons you have to go out on November 8th and vote if you haven't already done it. Any big vote is a polarizing time for a nation. But this election is causing the sort of division no eventual president can easily resolve. Just ask the voters in the crucial state of Pennsylvania. We are joined by Julian Drucker with Channel 5 News in the UK. And we were just talking I joined in with the phone-in on Pittsburgh well, radio station KDKA. Here they You're take the temperature the of public sure. opinion. And as I listened, yeah. it was boiling over. Hey, I'd like to talk about the two candidates. Uh, one I think is um, uh, a fool and the other one is a crook. I've never experienced uh, in the 58 years of my life anything as poor as this. Do you think the sort of negative effects of certain things in this campaign, like the comments Donald Trump has been caught making, does that have any effect with, with voters like you? Choices between a businessman that has done well in his life and somebody who's constantly under investigation, you come to the conclusion that where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm just hopping mad. And my family and friends, I can't even talk to them about Trump because they're mad. Do you think Donald Trump will win next week? I certainly hope he'll win next week. The hosts say the electoral process has never sounded like this. Something that to me is just almost frightening is just how angry people are. And, and you talk about division. I've never seen anything like this. It's incredible. Whether it's within families, whether it's with us on the air, people are mad one way or the other. The divisions are so hard at this point. The people are so polarized that whether Hillary Clinton gets in or Donald Trump, it's going to remain that way. There are just four days left of this campaign, but some fear this toxic election has damaged democracy itself.